Here, the Friends of the Winooski River has planted 5,000 trees on public and private land. And after July's flooding, they're encouraging more Vermonters to do the same. Our Haley Morgan spoke with some locals who did just that. Right at the root collar, or, you know, maybe just above it. Okay. After this summer's flooding, some landowners are taking action. The stream was just absolutely like, it was like white water down during the flooding. Uh, and so like we've already noticed a lot of erosion, not just from the flooding, but even earlier. Marshall Cottrell and his family just moved to East Montpelier. They have been wanting to forest their fields for a while now in an effort to make the ecosystem in their backyard more sustainable. And with natural disasters in mind, Cottrell thought getting the project done sooner is better rather than later. Uh, you know, maybe breaking up these big clumps. It's about looking at like how we've intervened in the past, right, to, to maybe make things worse than they, than they would have normally been. And I think a good example of that is like, you know, when you cut down uh, the, whole, the whole tree line next to these sort of like first order streams, like you're just asking for the water to flow quickly through those areas. The Cottrails have teamed up with the Friends of Winooski River and Red Start Forestry to plant 3,000 trees on their land. The project was about $55,000 funded by state and community partners. Friends of the Winooski River have done about seven tree planting projects this year and say planting trees in an area like this creates more stormwater collection into the ground. And more homeowners in Vermont should consider joining the effort. But then there was also attention given to the type of food that they provide for wildlife. When we do get a heavy rain, this particular property will do a great job of absorbing that water and keeping it from uh, flooding downstream areas. It's also really good for uh, habitat. Wildlife likes a mix of open and forested areas. So we're reconnecting different forest blocks that are in the area. And companies like Red Start are seeing more Vermonters become more interested in forestry. Nowadays, there's a lot of talk about, you know, carbon sequestration and storage and uh, being resilient to climate change. Of course, we've had this flooding this summer and other, you know, pretty major storm events. People are thinking about their land and how, how do I take care of this? Friends of the Winooski River say the field should turn into a young forest within the next 10 years. Reporting in East Montpelier, Haley Morgan. Channel 3 News.